Oh, it's so lovely to be outside. Do you know, I was wondering when we get married about moving into the country, you know, somewhere really remote, in the middle of nowhere. That sounds good. Yeah. We could have long walks in the woods and then come home, lock the doors and shut the rest of the world out. Darling, are you right? What's going on, Mark? Do you mind if we sit down? Why, what's wrong? Please, let's just sit down. There's something I need to tell you. Ah, you managed to meet up with Lily yet? Just finished, as it happens. How'd it go? Fine. Good. Listen, uh, you know your extra patient earlier, Mark, somebody, good-looking guy, early 40s? What about him? I'm a bit upset. Oh, don't you start. Start what? I've just had Lily and Simon slagging off my interpersonal skills. He just had some bad news. That's probably why he was looking fed up. Was it anything serious? MS, just diagnosed. Oh, dear. Why, what's your involvement? He's a friend of a friend. Does your friend know that he's ill? No, I don't think she does. Well, let's hope that he tells her, because we certainly can't. After all, there's a limit to the amount we can get involved in the private lives of others. Long story. Well, I'd love to wait. I'll see you back at the campus. So... How long have you known? I've been having symptoms for a few months. Blurred vision, tingling hands. A few months? I only found out for sure last week, when I saw the consultant. Right, so you've been to the hospital? The GP referred me. Without telling me? I didn't want to worry you. Not until I was sure. And there's no doubt now, then? None. Sorry. Look, I know this has come as a bit of a shock, but well, nothing's changed. As far as I'm concerned, it... Liz, you know, I, I'll understand if you don't want to go ahead. I could end up seriously disabled, in a wheelchair, maybe. That may not be what you signed up for. Um, I really don't know what to say. I don't say anything. I'm still trying to process it all myself. I need to call work. I guess I should tell them, too. All right, so I'm not the only one you've been hiding things from, then? It wasn't like that. Yeah, whatever you say. Let's talk later, eh? I need to think this through, Mark. Uh, of course. I'll meet you by the bandstand, yeah? At five o'clock? Almost. Then I said I'd give Cherry a hand to carry some stuff through. Oh, you are a busy little bee. Yeah, and it won't be long before someone gets stung. Hello, Campus Medical Centre. Hi, Mum, it's me. Hello, love, how are you? What are you up to? Not much. That is, not as much as I'd like to be. There's this gig I'd like to go to tonight, in Birmingham. Let me guess, you're skint. And you would like to borrow some money. Just 20 quid, I'll pay you back at the weekend. Yeah, you better had. Can I come and pick it up now? Yeah, of course you can. It'd be nice to see you. Bye bye. Another run on the bank of Mum and Dad. You'll pay me back. Yeah, right. I'm really going to miss him when he goes to university. Can I have his room? No. <laughs> You're going to be back at weekends. Oh, yeah, they say that. But then the breaks get longer and longer. And before you know it, 
It's months before you see them. Oh, don't say that. Well, you've got to let go sometime. I know. For I've still got my little yimmy wimmy. <laughs> Mom, you haven't called me that since I was seven. <laughs> I know. But you're still my little girl. You always will be. Ah, Julia? Liz? Um... Let's go for a walk. Why did he keep the whole thing a secret? Maybe he wanted to be sure before he told you. No, he's looking for a way out, Julia. Oh, come on, Liz. That is a bit drastic, isn't it? I mean, getting MS, so he's got an excuse not to marry you. Well, it's probably for the best, anyway. I thought he was a dream man. Yeah, and that's all it ever was. A dream. Stupid, stupid dream. Didn't sound stupid the way you were describing it earlier. Well, it's a good job I finally come to my senses then, isn't it? Because I had a good life before he came along and I can do again. Looks like he'll have to find some other mug. You really sure about this? Well, I've managed pretty well up till now. I can do what I want. My life's my own. Yes, you'd be on your own as well. You know. There's no going back, though, once you've given your heart to someone as completely as you have. You're not just going to be on your own, Liz. You are going to be lonely. And there is a very great difference, believe you me. I mean, once the genie's out of the bottle, you can't put it back. What if Mr. Wright turns out to be disabled? He didn't seem so bad when I saw him. Oh, no, he's OK now, sure. Well, yeah, and he might be OK for years. Anyway, what does it matter if he's got to live with a disability? You're in love, you're together. You know, there's no such thing as a perfect marriage, Liz. You've just got to work at it. Even then, there's no guarantees it's going to last. Well, maybe it's better not to get married in the first place, then. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. Do you want to spend the rest of your life thinking, what if? Take it from me, that is not good. He lied to me, Julia. No, he didn't. He didn't. He just... He just didn't tell you the whole truth until he was sure, and then he told you. I'm sorry, but I think that takes real courage. You know, Liz, from what you told me, I think you've got something really special going with Mark. I do. Do you really want to spend the rest of your life making sure that meetings run on time? What if he doesn't want to now? Well, why don't you ask him? See, now, you could hide away in your own little comfort zone, or you could take a chance. What do you reckon? Any chance of you finishing on time today? I'd like to cook you something nice tonight. Why? Well, does it have to be a reason? No. Good. Call it a whim. Nice whim. Anything special lined up for afters? Well, that's entirely up to you. Mm, well, I'll bear that in mind. How did your thing with Zara go? Pricklier than a whole family of hedgehogs, that one. She's going to take a while to get through, too. Mm, which, of course, you will. Let there be no doubt. Oh, how's Simon? Oh, we had a very pleasant chat. I think I reassured him about a few things. But you're happy with his progress? Methodical is the word. Nothing wrong with that. No, 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 of course not. Uh, gave him plenty to think about until we meet next week. Oh, Heston, I, I was looking for you. Oh, yes? Yeah, I just, um... Well, I still had some questions. Bit busy right It's now. important. Go on. Infantile rashes. What about them? How do I tell the difference? <laughs> Surely that's obvious. Well, I get confused. Well, there's a lot of good stuff on the internet. <sighs> well, what about if a patient presented today, say, a small baby, and I wasn't able to diagnose it? 
And I'd be worried about spotting the difference between a, a candidal rash and intertrigo. Yeah, well, they both occur in folds under the skin. Right. So, how do I tell them apart? Uh... Appearance. A candidal rash tends to be dry and scaly with smaller satellite lesions. Intertrigo glistens a bit with scaling around the edges. Precisely. Good question, though. Rashes were the bane of my life when I was studying. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Um, well, quite a lot, actually. Well, it'll have to wait. Lily and I have plans. No, that's all right. I've got half an hour. Would you like to come to my room? Um, your receptionist said it was all right to come through. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> well, looks like our wedding's back on. As far as I'm concerned, it was never off. Oh, congratulations. I am so pleased for you both. And thank you, Julia, for everything. And it's told me it was all down to you. Well, I just get the benefit of my experience. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're not doing anything at Christmas, you're very welcome at the wedding. Sounds very tempting. Yes, and who knows who you might meet there. Who knows indeed. Anyway, we'd best be off. I just wanted to give you the good news. Oh. See you at the next PCT. Yeah. <laughs> well done. What about this one? Um, measles. Very good. Unless you've got them, of course. Shouldn't we be getting off? And this one? Chicken pox. How advanced? Later stages. Because? Because uh, the scabs are forming where the blisters are drying out. Excellent. Talking of drying out, anyone fancy a drink? We've just got these last few to work through. What about our special meal? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realise you had plans. Oh, uh, that's all right. They can wait. What about this one? Hello, Louise, I'm here. Back. It's me, Michelle. Wrong, Mr. Beckley. I wanted Elijah Beckley. No woman is safe with that Lothario in our midst. What Lothario? And Doctors continues tomorrow at six. Next tonight, Jimmy just can't shake it in After You've Gone. <laughs>